Hello everyone and welcome back to another high pixel video. So today I thought I could do something like TNT run or bow spleef. So I feel like I should do bow spleef because I just like spleef a bit more. Plus with bow spleef it's gonna be even harder. Wait, are those people like already in there? How do they? Oh, I think this is how. Yeah. So. It's gonna be a fun episode today for me because I love Spleef. It's a really fun and yeah, difficult game because you always have to beware of any opponents. And the worst part is it's usually deadly. Like seriously, you can't really even stand in a corner. People will eliminate the blocks surrounding you and then eliminate the one you're under. And I don't have many things for boosts. So this is gonna be very difficult. Darn it! It was so close. I hate this game. Sometimes though how it bounces off people or whatever. I mean seriously, to me that's what? At least I shot it. What if that killed anyone? Probably didn't. So I'm gonna play a few more games of this, because this is gonna be a pretty short episode if I die this many times. So I might play TNT Run 2. Cause it seems like this episode will be a pretty short one unless I do something like that to extend it. So it's gonna be a really fun thing to do today. So just hopefully I can at least win one of each game if possible. Cause I just feel like I should at least win one of every game. I didn't win some of the games on Warlords, but that's cause they're challenging. I mean, I mean to me, Warlords is one of the hardest things possible. Cause it's like you can't really do anything easily unless you're at a high level. So I see someone who is a VIP was really nice and said, "Good luck, have fun." I mean, they did, I mean, they said it in letters, G, L, uh, H, F, but it's the same thing. I know what it says. Because at first I was wondering what the H, F meant. Then I saw half, then I realized it was half fun. So I just killed that guy who was just standing in the corner. And I'm probably going to die. Oh no, I should probably get out of here. Because that was, okay, that was a close one. Because I was literally trapped. Like, I was surrounded. Okay, so this is getting really dangerous now. Okay, they're right next to me. I almost killed myself. I almost jumped in my own hole. So this is a really fun game as well as TNT Run. Because I'm pretty sure at least a few people have at least played a game like this. Basically, in TNT Run, you just run and it basically everything drops. So basically, like, you have to constantly be moving or else you'll probably die. So I'm just constantly moving. That way I don't die. It's basically the same thing in this, but you have to make the blocks fall under the pe under your opponents. And, like, nothing else will do it. So that person I almost got. I'm really going for them. Like, to me, they're beasting it. Like, I'm pretty sure they might have used a double jump just there. Luckily, I don't think people get more than one unless there's, like, boosts that I'm not seeing. But this is really dangerous walking on these one-block paths. I just feel like people are going to be shooting at them. So, I feel like if I keep running, I might stand a chance. It seems there's only four people left, and I am one of them. And I'm getting really excited about this. And, oh my god, if they didn't turn around, I would have killed them. Turn you! But this is going to be really fun. I mean, this, these games I love to play because you never know what's going to happen. And darn it, wow, that was so close and I didn't even get them. I mean, seriously, they almost killed me and I almost killed them. Kind of hate when moments like that happen. Oh my god, it was worth that waste. I mean, seriously, I almost fell. Oh my god, I'm basically committing suicide. I will not die today. I'll die tomorrow, though. That is an exception. So I probably shouldn't be standing on the corner blocks or I'll die. And I don't want to die. Seriously, this person is amazing right now. I can't even shoot them down. Apparently I'll have to stand in the middle areas like this. 
Apparently, we've got them on the run. You know what? I'm shooting in the corner now. You shall perish. Fall into the eternal... Darn you! Seriously, that was so close. So, I'm gonna do one more game. But I actually want to see who wins this. Because this is really close. Looks like that guy's on the move. And if I were that... Oh, and we have a winner that was really close. I mean, seriously. If I didn't jump on that one block, I probably would have survived. So I'm going to do one more game of Bow Split, and then do three games of TNT, run, balance it out. So I wish they would do a map for Bow Split where there's multiple layers. I have seen that map before, but sadly they're not showing it. They did something like this with multiple layers, that would be better, because then it's like, you can't do anything, or like, if they had platforms under this that you can't see, and if you hit one, then you have to try and destroy all the others if you want to win, like, that'd be exciting, in my own opinion, because like, then it's like, you have to be, like, perfect placed over it if you want to live, but this game, darn it, enough people were on, so I thought the game was going to start, but apparently enough people left. Wait, how many people did we are for some reason I it I thought it said starting. Hello. But this game gets really intense when almost everyone's gone and almost all blocks are gone. But I really hate waiting, it's like they have nothing to do. Like I wish they at least put something like maybe a slide or decorations in these. Or maybe like mini games that don't even do anything. That would be exciting, because at least it would be like you have nothing to wait for. So I'm going to quickly get into a corner. I know it's not a good idea, but I'm at least staying in a corner for a bit. Because then it's just like I can shoot, and once my, the, you know what, actually no. I'm not being stupid and doing that. I'm just going to see really quick. Okay, so there's pretty much nothing under these things. So for now, I'm just going to run, not really try and do much shooting. Because I can see that blocks are falling like mad. And I do not want to be one of the people who falls in. I keep almost dying and almost getting people. And then I wind up failing horribly and almost dying. And usually when I play this game, I always die. Like, I've rarely ever won this game. I don't even remember the last time I did win it. Oh my god! That was so close. Oh well, they have no double jump now. It's good if they have no double jump. Because then they can't escape close situations. And try jumping over any holes. So this guy's basically trapped. Mario will die today. Even if he's not the real Mario. Mario will kind of die. Darn it. I thought that hit him. Oh well. Whoa. That was close. Like this game gets. Okay I just saw someone waste a double jump when they were dying. Well, I guess it wasn't really wasting it. But they just failed at using it. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just destroying land now. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to run around the place, destroying land if I can. You know, I'm going to stay in the, the middle areas. The middle areas are the safe ones. Like these big platforms you can't easily lose on. I'm going to try not to jump on areas like that. Or like I can die if that block gets shot and I almost fell in. I'm so scared right now. I shall not perish. You shall. Only you Yo! No! No! Okay, that was weird. Oh my god, I just saw that. I basically led to his, to his demise. So glad I was a part of that because he was attacking me. So this is getting really interesting now. Because it's like everyone is so close to each other. Trying to kill each other. I'm so scared when they get close to me like that. Because then it's... Oh, so I've used my triple shot already. I did not know I used it. So this is going to be interesting with four people again. I know I can at least get up to the third place. And, okay, so I'm in third place, possibly. Could probably get to second, maybe. Like, I don't, usually don't try and move when I'm this close. I usually wait and wait for their own demise sometimes. Like, I at least want to be at least trying to win. And so far, this, this guy's trying to kill me. He's doing a horrid job. He keeps trying to shoot me, and he misses horribly. 
Oh my god. You shall die, not me. No. Darn you. No. Darn it. Again. You know what? I'm just going to see who at least wins. Because that was close again. Third place. Two times in a row. I'm now disappointed. At least wanted to win this game. I think I can at least win a game of TNT run. Because that game is actually harder sometimes. Well, actually, I guess this is kind of hard, too. Because it's like you, you sometimes run out of space and wind up getting killed. Oh, my God. That was so close. But TNT run, you usually run out of space. So, I don't think anyone's going to win anytime soon. So, I'm just going to teleport to the lobby. This is going to take forever. And I don't want to have footage of two people battling. Like, some people might want to see it. Some probably won't because I actually really want to play TNT run it's a nice game it's always challenging so this is basically it there's a few sections you can go into I'm gonna at least try and stand in this one if I if like you start where you are because this area looks like I could just walk around a bit like you actually have to be dashing most of the time but I know you can only dash for 30 seconds so that's the bad part about this game so, you can't really do anything about that. So, since it's starting in 30 seconds and I've started sprinting before it, I'm probably going to die before, like, I'm probably going to stop sprinting before it. So, I, so basically, I'm not safe. Because if, because since there's 15 seconds left, I'm probably going to start, yeah, I just stopped sprinting. And I, and I didn't take my hand off the keyboard or anything. So this is not good, knowing that I cannot sprint. Three, two, one, and we go. I should probably get to at least one of these things. And I've already fell and wasted my double jump. Well, I hate myself right now for doing that fail. At least taking out the edges. At least killing one guy. One of them will fall. One will die. I'm like, oh, come on. You know what? I feel like I shouldn't have lost. I was lagging. Like, like if anyone else saw my lag, I literally lagged so hard that I, that like they stopped moving and I thought I survived and then I fell. So I'm going to play at least two more games of this. See if I can get closer to the fin, to like winning. I definitely know I lost last time. Seriously, I hope I at least win one ep one game this episode, or else I'm gonna feel sad. So it's starting in a few seconds, so I'm just gonna try and hide in this corner right now, cause there's really nothing else to do besides run around. No, I'm just gonna look at the skins. Stuff like this though, I don't think is creative. I've seen tons of skins. Like I've seen lots of creative skins and lots of non-creative skins. And to me, the ones that are more creative, like, I'm not gonna try and, like, say mine is amazing. But I know that not many people have a skin kind of like mine. So I at least feel like mine is more creative than most other skins I've seen. Because I've seen a bunch of skins with sunglasses and, like, coats and such. So to me, they're not that original. Oh my god, I almost died. So, like, I like more original skins. Like, I feel mine is more original because you don't really see skins like this. And I will show everyone what I mean if I die. Like, I don't really want to show my skin right now or else I'll probably die. But, like, I like basically my skin is a robot mixed with a creeper and I almost killed myself. Oh my god, pro skills. Pro skills! Can't kill me right now, boy. Oh my god. God, I thought I was gonna die. Okay, that was so close. So, since I'm probably gonna die, I'll just show everyone my skin when I get back to the lobby. Like, I know I'm gonna die. Eventually, I will run out of room. Because I already know that I'm running out of space to run. So, eventually, I'm gonna be out of space to even walk. Or at least move to a different block. And... I feel like I will die. Yep, that's it. So, I'm at least gonna try and. Yeah, you can't really see it that well, but you can see it better in the lobby. 
So once I go back to the lobby, I will show everyone what I mean. So this is my skin. See? Back looks like a cyborg, and the front looks more like a robot. So basically like a robot creeper. So I feel like that would be more original than like those mini block guys or something kind of like this. Because I've seen skins a lot like this and like that slime guy right there. So to me, they're not that original, yet they're still kind of creative if no one has the exact same colors or something. But like skins like this Lucario one, you don't really see stuff like that. And Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I probably would say that's original. But maybe, like, that guy has an original skin. Like, maybe that one right there. Like, or that Diamond Creeper guy. That guy definitely has creative skin. Like, I've never see seen any skin kind of like that. Like, I've seen people who make their skin little diamond blocks for their body parts. So, stuff like that is even more creative when turning them into mobs for the diamonds. Like, they literally make it body parts. Like, they literally make it a part of their body. So I feel like that would be more creative than this stuff. Can't believe someone already died. I'm guessing that was an AFK person. Or at least someone who just doesn't move when he's getting serious lag. Like, those are the people who usually die first because they can't do anything because their computer is frozen or they're just not able to move anywhere. Oh my god. Okay, last round was definitely better than those skills. I know that for a fact. I should probably get out of this corner, though, before I die. So I got out of there, so I'm probably going to live longer now, hopefully. But last time, I did do better parkour than this time. Because I did do lots of jumping like straight like that. So that's pretty good if I do stuff like that. Because then I have a slower chance of dying. Because I can't really do anything if I'm parkouring over all the holes. So I basically have a slight better chance if I'm able to constantly jump like this. Oh my god, I'm doing amazing. And I was just doing, And every now and then I'm just going to probably stop for a second in order to redo my speed jumping that way i don't die oh my god darn it i just i just killed myself wow i am ashamed i just jumped through two layers and killed myself if i didn't do that so i wonder if anyone's still at the top i can't believe it two people are still at the top wait am i able to fly no I'm, you know what? i'm wow you know what? i'm just gonna start at the top again really quick and see what happens if I have to keep moving. Like once my sprint stops, I'm gonna have to drop to the next level, or I'm just, you know what? That proves I'm horrible at games like this. So yeah, this, this game is also fun yet challenging, but it really does test your parkour skill. I will say that. Cause like, if you don't parkour perfectly like that, you'll probably fall into the abyss like that. Oh my god, is there seriously an entire thing to the abyss? So, really quickly, I'm gonna see if I have anything I can open. So, I'm gonna open this really quick. The first one of this series. What did I get? And I got common birch leaves and pet items. So, I always, for some reason, I always see 32 whatever that's useless. And this one, I have to be an MVP, and I only have eight, six days and 18 hours to do so, so, wait, can I craft one? Darn it. So, I guess that is all for today, everyone, and I will see you next time.